Judith Lucy. You know what I love about Australians? I love the way we speak. I love the way we just understate the obvious. I was at the airport the other day. You know, we're all just standing around the luggage carousel, obviously watching the luggage go around, and I heard this guy go, <clears throat> geez, you'd be pretty disappointed with that, wouldn't you? <laughs> and it was just a handle with a tag going around. <laughs> But um, I'm going to get a little deep on you now. You know what I reckon? I reckon that people, we're not very good at dealing with change. In fact, I reckon the only sort of change that we're kind of okay at is the sort that involves putting on a different pair of underpants. And let's be frank, that's touch and go for some people. <laughs> I once went out with a man who told me that he knew that he loved me when he started changing his underpants every day, <laughs> as opposed to every third day. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Be jealous. Um, <laughs> that's just the incredible power I have over men. <laughs> oh, I thought if he changes the bong water, wedding bells. <laughs> What's exciting for me is that I have actually met someone. But the disappointing news is, he's yet to send me a photograph of his genitals. <laughs> is that really what we're doing now? I was talking to a woman the other day, and not only had she been lucky enough to receive a dick pic, but <laughs> he'd been thoughtful enough to include a ruler in the shot. <laughs> You'd worry, wouldn't you? You'd think, oh, is it to scale? <laughs> is it actual size? <laughs> and while we're on that, I don't know if any of you treated yourself to the masterpiece Magic Mike XXL, <laughs> but my favourite bit was when Andy McDowell's character, mm, Andy McDowell, old skull face, as I like to call her now. <laughs> but she sleeps with the stripper Big Dick Richie, and we find out that she's the only woman who can fully accommodate Big Dick Richie's enormous penis. <laughs> and I thought, oh, what a beautiful and complex reworking of the Cinderella fairy tale. <laughs> Romantic. But anyway, the really, the really amazing thing about my new gentleman is that he's 12 years younger than me. Grr. We did have a slightly challenging moment recently in terms of the age difference, and that was when I was actually mistaken for his mother. <laughs> True story, it was in a store that we often go into as a couple. I walked in and the young woman behind the counter said, oh, I think I just saw your son. Now, I think you'll be very proud of me. I think I handled it really well. I just turned to her and I said, you know something? I love that kid, but between you and me, he is a lousy fuck. <laughs> Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Judith Lucy.